Good morning, everybody. If you can hear my voice, Jenny and I are inside the penguin habitat. My name is Sarah. I take care of the penguins, and Jenny helps me out on Tuesdays. So together we help take care of the 23 Magellanic penguins that you see out here. We're having a small enrichment session for our birds. They don't seem to be too interested in the enrichment, but they might start to get interested. It looks like they are just kind of relaxing right now. They did just get their breakfast. Every single penguin got some food, so that's really good. To keep them happy and healthy, one of the things we do is we actually record every single fish that these guys eat. Some birds like herring, some birds like capelin, some birds like both. We actually offer our birds both herring and capelin. It's both sustainable restaurant quality seafood. And sustainable means it just doesn't harm the environment nor the population of fish when it is harvested from the ocean. So you are looking at Magellanic penguins. They are finishing up their yearly migration cycle. They migrate for about four to five months a year. So they can migrate about one to 3,000 miles a year as well. They do rest on offshore islands, averaging about 90 miles a day, foraging for fish up and down the coast of South America. Four of our birds were actually rescued from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. That's pretty far north from where you typically find Magellanic penguins. You usually find them in Chile and Argentina. So these guys were stranded. We think they got lost along their way trying to forage for that fish. What's happening with the currents is they're kind of changing. And so the, pot, the fish are follow, following those currents, and it's going out to sea a little bit further and further. So these guys are kind of stuck searching for that food. So Robbie, Roxy, Kate, and Avery were brought here to the Aquarium of the Pacific to start off our colony. And we also got birds from other facilities. And slowly but surely, we have had 13 chicks hatch here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. So since Magellanic penguins have such a long migration period, they only breed once a year. And that's going to be late March is when they're going to start getting really interested in nesting and spending more time on land. So if you're just joining us, welcome to the June Keys Penguin Habitat. These birds are pretty full after their first feed. They get fed one to three times a day, kind of depending on their appetite. This morning they were pretty hungry. Everybody got at least two fish, which is what we like to see. We do record every single fish that they eat. That helps us keep track of them. I'm in the husbandry department, so husbandry is a fancy word for animal health care. These guys do help us take care of them. We hope that they participate in their health care. But right now, this is kind of just some f a fun enrichment session for our birds. So if you're by our underwater viewing area, it looks like two of our birds are investigating some of that enrichment. They like to push the balls around with their bills. But they're in a little bit more of a mellow mood right now. It is their annual migration season. So these guys follow some pretty strict cycles. They are one of the biggest migrators of any species of penguin out there with about one to 3,000 miles a year. So right now these guys are spending almost all of their time in the water because it is that annual migration time. 
But in about a month, they're going to spend a lot more time on land. These nine holes that you see behind me, these are actually burrows. They're um, little houses for our penguins. There are kennels uh, that are modified on the other side of the tube. So these guys can come in and out of their burrows as they please. Not everybody has a burrow. Some of our younger penguins haven't quite, it, haven't quite uh, gotten to that, that point yet. We do have an open burrow, so we'll see who takes that one. But when our birds uh, lay eggs, they lay them in those crit kennels. Magellanic penguins are a burrowing species. You find them in South America, in Chile, and Argentina. They won't see ice or snow. They're more of what we call a temperate species of penguin. In fact, most penguin species are. There are really only three ice or snow dependent penguins out there. Sometimes we give these guys crushed ice for enrichment. So enrichment is something that stimulates them mentally, physically, or helps us with animal husbandry. Helps us, uh, helps us participate in their own health care. It looks like one of our younger penguins, D, is hanging out with some of that enrichment. D is one of our chicks that hatched this past May. We have D, Cleopatra, and Wally. Those guys look a little bit different than the rest of the colony. They're more gray. They don't have that black and white band on them quite yet. But Magellanic penguins are a member of the banded penguin family, along with the African Humboldt and Galapagos penguin. There are about 2 million Magellanic penguins out there. They're near threatened. They aren't endangered. Hopefully they don't become endangered. But their population is declining and has been for the past 200 years. Their relative, the African penguin, is an endangered species, and there are only about 40,000 of those birds left. There are lots of efforts to try to help rescue and save the African penguin. Uh, they do breed year-round, which is a little bit different than the Magellanics you see in front of me. These guys migrate a little bit longer, and they're from South America. We do have current, we currently have 23 Magellanic penguins on exhibit. This is our June Keys penguin habitat. We have had 13 chicks hatch here at the aquarium. Some of them are five years old, which is kind of hard to believe. They'll be going on six years old this May. Their breeding season is in uh, the springtime, so most of our chicks hatch in late May, early June. And we're having a small enrichment session for our birds, but our seal and sea lion show is going to begin pretty shortly if you want to check that out. So I will get off the mic. But again, if you're interested in what's going on over in our exhibit, we're doing a small enrichment session for our Magellanic penguins. <laughs> 